for joining me on this very pleasant last of the summer evenings. Today is actually the 2nd of October so we're well into autumn now. I thought I'd take advantage of this final kind of lovely day. The clouds have like cleared so I've got this nice blue evening sky. The sun's meant to set in about 20 minutes so yeah I thought I would have a luxurious camp of the summer. I think this is my class as my September camp, wild camp. So in March I wild camped, which was quite cold, but really nice, just in a bivy bag. April was down in like a little valley where it rained. May was in a field, which was really nice and just quite relaxed. June was, I think, overlooking the sea on the side of like this lovely heather moorland area. July was in a valley where I did a little bit of wild paddling, bathing. August was in a hammock so this is like a late September. So yeah I'm gonna relax. This is quite a luxurious wild camp because normally I just have my bivy bag or my single person tent but I went wild camping with a friend and we used this so I thought I'm going to use this for my next wild camp. So I've got this massive tent. I've got my winter sleeping bag now. I've got, I'm, I'm actually sitting on it, but I've got a thermal fleece liner. I've got a kettle. I actually bought this for my tiny house. It's like a whistling kettle. I was going to get a fancier one, but looking at the reviews, they're all a bit mixed about the different kettles. So I thought for now I'd just get this cheap um, camping stove kettle which will which whistle. I hope this is the first time I've used it. So yeah, so tonight I'm going to have some heart tea which is blackcurrant, rosemary, honey and hibiscus. I've got some little oats I've pre-made, it's just oats, sugar, chocolate powder and some powdered milk. I'm going to sit back and relax. Tonight's book of choice is, it had a cover but I took it off, but it's um, the, the Sunset Route by Carrot Quinn. So it's the second of her books that I've read. The first one I read that she started in blog format about what, how she hiked the PCT, which then inspired me to then go hike the PCT in America. Um, video here showing my adventure on the Pacific Crest Trail, which is a hike which goes from Mexico to Canada. This story is about her adventures freight hopping. So yeah, my book of choice. See, so I'm just gonna relax tonight. I've got tomorrow off. Plan is to 
change the cat flap in my house because as you know I got another kitten did not plan on this she just kind of happened and she's now realized she's now able to get on the windowsill which is where my other two cats get out I don't want her getting out she hasn't been microchipped or neutered yet she's booked in so I've ordered a new cat flap I shall only let them in when they, with the microchips it's arriving tomorrow so I'm going to hopefully install that tomorrow and yeah it's going to be a peaceful night's sleep tonight And the moon looks so cool. It's like a half moon. And I wasn't expecting to see it. I just came out of the shelter of the trees and I just noticed the moon just appeared on the horizon. Well, on the edge of the hills over there. You could just see my kind of silhouette my hat. Something else that was fun this week was my friends and I went foraging but one of the most interesting discoveries was that we found a giant puffball because now I know that there's two. There's meadow puffballs and giant puffballs and we found a giant one. So we split it up into three and I took some back and with mine I fried it with some onions and garlic and turmeric and some other spices and I made it into a fajita. I rolled out the flour, made my little fajita wraps, added some chili beans and melted some cheese on it and yeah, it tasted quite nice. A nice still evening. The kind of evenings that are perfect for sleeping in a bivy bag when it's just so still and quiet, no rain, there's no cloud coverage so you can see the stars every time you just look up. And so quite a few stars are coming out. I hope, I hope to see a lot more later. But yeah, that moon's awesome. But I think for the time being, I'm just going to get into my tent, my sleeping bag, curl up, and then be my book. Good night from my massive tent. I'm gonna look forward to falling asleep here with just the sound of the trees. But yeah, I guess I'll see you in the morning.
So, just before I went to bed last night, I decided to check the work rotor. Just because I was curious to see who was at work tomorrow. And turns out, I'm at work tomorrow. So yes, I'm at work at 7. So, it's currently just before 6. So yeah, I'm going to pack up and head back. Ooh. Bit of a shame, because I was looking forward to maybe having a nice lie-in. Yeah, just gonna have to cut this little camping trip short. Ooh. So yeah, speed packing. I was hoping for a nice, lovely, relax, slow wake up and having a nice cup of tea and watching the dawn happen but the moral of the story is check the work rotor and I hope to do more camping in my tents. I quite enjoyed being in, being in the tent. There's a few stars out. It's not sunrise for another hour or so but yeah it's gone five past six and work at seven. So yeah I'm gonna cut this video short here and I'll see you in the next one. But yeah. Have a good day. Goodbye. And I love watching the dawn happen. There's something about spring and especially autumnal sunrises. 